Hey there, in today's video I'm going to show you exactly how to create and edit your own personally branded videos. My name's Clive Jeffrey from clivejeffrey.com and you're going to love this training, so stay tuned. So welcome all along um, everyone. Um, my name's Clive Jeffrey and I'm going to be your host tonight where we can come here to learn how to create and edit your personally branded videos as promised. So without further ado, let's get into it. Firstly, just who is Clive Jeffrey, just so that you know who um, you know is talking to you. Um, basically, I'm a family man. This is a picture here of my um, my beautiful wife Dawn and my daughter Jess and my son Scott. That photo is actually about a year old, so um, time flies. So basically, I'm a serial entrepreneur. I started working part time, uh, you know, jobs while I was at school. Uh, didn't really like school or university. Um, my first job was in sales, which was a really good thing, and really by, quite by accident, I um, I got into a sales position, a sales cadetship actually with a printing company and um, got a very good grounding in sales and it was th there that I sort of learned that you, that if you wanted to get ahead, you had to learn how to sell. Um, I always wanted to work for myself and had that entrepreneurial spirit and actually started my first business along with my wife back in 1992, which happened to be a printing and graphic design company. Um, and we ended up running that successfully for 23 years and sold it back in 2013 um, before that was back in New Zealand before I moved to the States um, and started getting into the home business industry so it was then that my focus changed completely um, you now I sold the business in 2013 as I said because basically had enough of it and um, wanted to change and I'd actually met my wife over here in the States um, back in 1984 and um, took her back to New Zealand as a souvenir and so we came back our kids wanted to go to school over here so to complete change of focus for me but basically the um, sales and marketing is sales and marketing no matter what you do um, and being in the printing industry a lot of my clients were sales I mean we were marketing managers and uh, advertising agencies so I have a very thorough understanding of, of marketing and I was able to able to bring this across to um, the home business arena and help my team and uh, others grow but that you know all the time I was running my business I um, never did anything on the computers myself I was purely sales focused and employed graphic designers and the like so it's been really as I say the last couple of um, years that I've only been learning this stuff myself I literally couldn't copy and paste so if you're worried about not having the technical skills I can assure you they're easy enough to pick up so firstly why video marketing it's enough about me and uh, why video marketing you know Video, as I'm sure you are aware, is um, one of the fastest ways to build rapport with your, your prospects. I mean, if you're anything like me, um, I'd much rather, you know, watch a video, it, instruction video, rather than trying to read a, a, an instruction booklet or brochure. Um, there's, it really allows people to get to know you while they see your videos out there. You know, they, they, it, the videos do the hard work for you. They uh, break down barriers that people can judge uh, whether they want to do business with you by because you automatically build the rapport as, as they say and the builds the no like and trust factor at the same time so it's really a good way to um, have clone yourself it's the best way to describe it it's, it's leverage you know it's um, the ultimate you do the create the video once and it literally out there a little person cloning yourself um, working away 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, and they don't ask for pay raises and they don't take sick days. So um, it's a great way to generate leads and sales. People you know, as I say, they decide whether they wanna do business with you before you even get them on the phone and speak to them. So it's such a pleasure, rather than chasing around friends and family, trying to get them to look at what you're doing. If you have someone that's seen you, heard what you sound like, reach out to you and say hey I want to hear what you know more about your business it's an absolute pleasure so this is what we call the traction marketing it's the whole purpose of doing video marketing in the first place I just want to cover a bit of background here before we get into the mechanics of a video so we can totally understand what we're trying to do here and trying to achieve by branding our videos the traction market 
marketing is simply that you know we want to um, provide value to our marketplace um, and build up our trust with the people that we're trying to get our message in front of so that you know they they feel comfortable enough dealing with you people have this real uh, mindset uh, um, and to do business and better uh, but it's changing but the, the older demographic um, the baby boomers like my age you no know, computers weren't around when we grew up so it is a, a foreign thing it's uh, it's sort of um, not frowned upon but looked upon with um, apprehension uh, so there's a big learning curve there but with video if they feel that they can trust you they're much more likely to part with their credit card information so by producing videos that are informative and educational um, you can really endear yourself to your uh, deal prospects um, they you can put you out there as being an authority and again um, by providing value they see you as the trusted advisor as advisor so if you for example the real estate person you are putting out value it could be about the neighborhood for example if you put out valuable videos showing different parts of the neighborhood neighborhood all the amenities uh, you know if someone looked on a you know searched and found a video with with you explaining all about the local neighborhood with, when they were looking for a house do you think they would be interested in talking to you about the house within that area definitely so th think of all the creative ways you can use video and if you can actually brand them have your contact details all over them it's just that much more powerful especially when you create a video that gets shared so by doing this you know your ideal prospects seek you out so you become the hunted rather than having to be the hunter and that's what attraction marketing is all about so that's what we the reason we, we want to do video and why it is so powerful so I just want to go over the four part formula for creating a video see a bit of a background I'll just pull myself up here for a minute before we get into this a lot of the courses that I've done and I've done several now on video marketing they all get in straight away onto how to rank videos on YouTube or something like that and they um, but they nobody tells you actually how to go about creating the video itself and there's no point in knowing how to get a video to rank if you can't or you've got questions about how to actually create the video so that's a little bit of a gap that I'm trying to fill here so as I say if you have any questions along the way by all means reach out to me um, if you're watching the replay or put the, your comments put a question in the comments and I'll get it after I'm done here so the four part video formula now the, I've actually just changed this up recently um, the first one I used to say was introduce yourself but I've actually um, my mentor has changed my opinion on that and that just this week actually and said to ask the question first or state what the video is going to be about because people have got a very short attention pattern and if they span and if they can um, scrolling through Facebook or something like that and um, or they click on your video and you they hear you waffling on they're not going to stick around to get to your content which could possibly you know, be exactly what they're looking for so by asking the question first or stating what the video is about and then going into um, your introduction um, which is the second step um, which is simply introducing yourself you know you're gonna hook them because they're gonna say yes that's why I'm, I'm here you know um, I'm I want to learn exactly this and then the third part of the formula is to provide the content which is the answer to the the, the question that you originally proposed up here in um, you know, step one and then the fourth part is the call to action now there's no point in creating a video if you don't have a call to action now it may be simply as something is saying uh, visit me on my blog I would say I sometimes you know finish up with saying hi you no know, thanks for, for watching the video if you want more uh, free training head over to my blog clivejeffrey.com and um, you'll be able to f uh, have a look over there I put up content you know, very regularly something along those lines you know so it might be if you're a real estate agent be sure to give me a call uh, I'll help you find your ideal house or I'll you know, get your house sold within the time that you want at the price you want so just have something very different in mind so you, you can see by having a formula you can create videos that you don't simply waffle on in because there's nothing worse when you get on a uh, watch a video and it's just it's like what is the point of this video you know what I mean 
time is precious and um, as I say we have very short attention span so if you have this little formula it keeps you on task you know where you're at so you ask the question introduce yourself and um, create the content uh, you know, provide the, the the content, which is the value. So that's the exchange. You know, to get them to follow through with their call to action, you've given something first. You've given them the value. So it's always a, a give and take. You know, so we provide um, the the content as the value, and exchange in in return, they will fo follow our request or call to action. So that's the formula that we work to. So a couple of different types of video. First, we'll look at live video um, and. Uh, you know, as I mentioned, just when I got on here this evening, I um, was doing a Facebook Live broadcast just to say that to, if anyone's interested in editing, learning how to edit video, to hop on over to this webinar. So live video is great. It uh, builds rapport very fast because um, you know it's basically interactive. You, people can ask questions um, in real time and get them answered. Um, and as I say, you get lots of reach on Facebook. Uh, you know, Facebook looks upon live video very favor favorably. You can do things like having set times of a day where you um, do your live broadcasts. You can um, you know, send out posts beforehand saying that you're about to go live and you know, get build up an audience. And Facebook literally goes out and looks for people to get on your live feeds. But the, th the thing is that they are very short-lived in that they get lost in your news feed fairly quickly. Um, they, you know, once you once they are over, they, they get shared around and people still view them, but within 24 hours, they're gone. Um, you know, or, or, or not very well, you know, unless people hunt them out, you know, they're just not going to get seen. Whereas with recorded video, um, we have much more longevity they pretty much last forever if we use the right strategy we need to have a strategy um, for using video on YouTube um, and we do this by searching for phrases that people are actually looking for on in Google and then we create our video to answer the questions that people are actually looking for so completely different strategy to doing a live broadcast um, so it's but definitely you know with recorded video it's um, you can still obviously just load them up to Facebook, but again, you're going to lose them in your feed. The same with on um, you know any other platform like um, Instagram. You can do one minute videos. Um, again, <coughs> they're there for a little while, then they're lost in your feed. So we are going to learn how. I'm going to show you how to create recorded videos that you can put on YouTube. They can be found on Google, Bing, and Yahoo, and um, they. Are all based as I say around the keyword research but first of all there's no point in learning that if we don't know how to create the videos in the first place so hence this training tonight so the tools that I recommend that you use now there's software required I've done a lot of research on this there's um, and they the, the software can be very costly um, but I've managed to come across some really cost-effective ones now for recording videos there's option obviously you can record on your phone I do a lot of videos on my phone um, when I'm out and about or at live broadcasts from my phone and then what I have to do if I want to do any editing there are apps that you can do and edit on your phone I just personally don't like using the phone I just I don't know it must be an age thing I find my fingers are too fat and I end up getting frustrated I'm getting better at it I would never say never but I like working on my computer so I like to record videos on my computer or either load them I uh, download them from my phone onto my computer um, and then edit them there so if, but if I want to record a video on my actual computer if I want to record my screen I thoroughly recommend screencast matic it's um, fifteen dollars a year that's one five dollars a year you can go to it I'm gonna I can send out these links to I'm gonna send out these links to anyone that um, Know, is here or anyone that wants them just reach out to me if you didn't get them because they're not they're not affiliate links and as I say it's fifteen dollars for the year to, to use the software it's really easy you can do you know full screen recordings it can have you can record with your own image in the, the screen as well which will go all over this and um, great easy to use you know that's why I like it it's the ease of use it just simply like 
downloads it to your desktop, and then you can then upload that from your desktop into the editing software that I use. Now, again, particularly with editing software, you can, it ranges in price. There's, you know, from really expensive to really economical. And um, this particular one I found is really economical. Um, it's got everything that you need to do as a beginner. I mean, it's obviously you're not going to go and create full-on movies. I mean, you can. It's amazing what you can do. I'll show you what it can be, can do. But there's a there's a fine line there with what you want to do because um, I know particularly with myself, it been the home business niche. You don't want to, my videos. I don't want them to be too fancy because then people think that they can't do it, which is not the case. But I don't want to create the illusion that it's you know that it's overcomplicated. You know they're going to spend all these hours learning video editing. But you no, know, you'll certainly be able to create a professional looking video for a real estate agent or any kind of business at all um, with your own logo on it, and um, it's perfect for that. And this the. As I say, there's Camtasia is three hundred dollars, and there's a bunch of others that are even more expensive than that. This was, and I give you a little tip: Google and find a coupon. I did that, and it ended up, ended up costing me thirty-four dollars. So for thirty-four dollars, so a total of fifty bucks for your screen edit, the screen recording software, and your editing software, and you're done. As I get, as I say, I thoroughly recommend that you get these and. Um, they, and I've done, I've done a lot of research on it. By all means, they, I, there is another one that I, I found, which is actually a free screen recording software, but it's a, it's very it's a lot harder to use. And by harder, I mean that you can you've got to do all, adjust the colors, and oh, it's just there's a lot of fiddling around. If you want nice and simple, which I do, this is the ones I recommend. The next one is creating intros and outros. Now I don't know. I'll show you if you don't know what these are. Um, I will show you exactly what I mean in the minute. In a minute, intros and outros. Go to introchamp.com. Now, there, this is a great uh, site where you can go on create your own, you know, intros. An intro is basically after you've said what the video is about, introduce yourself. You, there's a little clip that gets played. I'm sure you've seen them. It lasts about nine, ten seconds, and then you get into the body of your video, and the same thing at the end. So you can create these. It's normally like a splash and explosion type thing, you know, fancy little clip. You can create these, personally brand them, and they, you can do it and then download it instantly, and they're five bucks. So, again, you know, there's, I've heard. People talk in the hundreds. The other thing, you know, with actually create you know, some intros and outros there, you can create different banners. So it's up to you. you my, um, this is the Intro Champ site. I'll just quickly run through this with you. Um, and basically, these are the different templates that you, you can see if I hover over. So you, you can see there that um, you can this you just literally sorry I'll I'll hover over another one that's probably the easiest one to read. You can s see this one here. You can type in your logo there. Your logo goes there. Extra information, and that's it. You know, and you can type your information and have a look what it looks like. If you're not happy with it, go try something else. Go find what you know, look at all the different categories you've got here. Hundreds of them to choose from. Find something if you've got a travel business, that one looks quite cool. Again, your logo goes there. Six lines of text or six pieces of text. So simple, easy as that. Um, won't go through anymore. You get the idea. So that's introchamp.com, four ninety eight. You can't beat it. And as I say, it's instant. You literally put it in, see what it looks like. If you think that's you, you can download. It. You can even have a couple, you know, for different things. You know, it's really cool. This is Screencast-O-Matic. This is what I was telling you about. This. This is. Uh, I can't actually show you it live, but I'll show you what a video that I've done because I'm broadcasting live on this webinar. I can't use the same. It uses the same camera and. Um, 
just won't work. But you can literally do, as I say, you can um, you can do the, a full screen. You can use um, or uh, you know this, this, uh, you can use your you know full screen as like we're seeing your face, or you can do full screen using just the the, the webcam. So you. Uh, or you're recording what's on your screen, or you can do your image and the screen in one recording. So real easy to use. Um, you literally just log in, press start recording, move the cursor around the area of your screen you want to capture. If it's the whole screen, move it around the whole screen. If it's only a portion of your screen, move it over that. So nice and simple, um, you know, and it has all the options. Make sure you're using the mic you want, all that kind of stuff. Can't recommend it highly enough. So... The next thing, Filmora. This is Filmora. This is that video editing software. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually show you using some videos that I've actually pre-recorded because, as I say, I can't record them live. But um, this will be the next best thing. So I'm just going to get rid of that. And so this is basically a, a blank screen. Here's a bunch of videos that I've... Um, imported in you know into my back office here um, I'll just give you the quick rundown you can um, these this is what they call the media here's you know this all comes with standard for your as I say with the coupon it cost me 34 bucks um, music and you can you know you can just go over here and just click on different music that you might just you might want to hear it and we'll just click play And it's, you know, there's all different kinds of music, um, all royalty free that you can use behind your videos, you know. Um, so, you, and again, if you want to use audio, um, you know, the, you want to use some of this music, um, you, know, you literally just drag it into whatever field that you that you want to use. So we just go that one, drag it down here to the music and um, you stretch it out to whatever length your video is and it's as simple as that you know it's there then it's there um, so the next one is the text now in the text this is where I was telling you you know you, you for for openers you can if you for start of your video you you've got all these different options and again you just say it's this one we want to use we just drag it down and it's this will we'll actually should, we'll come and do this after we've actually put some video in here um, but I just wanted to run through with you um, the next one is different filters so if you want you know your how you want the your images to look um, you've got overlays do all different things different you can just come in here and have a play around there's different elements you can put on your videos um, you know you can have like hearts for example um, then these are the transitions. So when you, if you, when you're uh, editing, you know, cut, it may have a cut in your video, or joining your intros and outros. You, um, I'll show you. You can have different transitions that make it flow f freely. Um, you know, I'll just show you. Uh, this is how they. It just you no, know, flows between different video clips. Then you can, you know, if you want, you can have split screens. You can have different images. In all these different things um, just done different ways you just literally drag them into your um, you know your, your, your builder here and um, you know create the thing that you want then after you you're happy with it you simply click on export so Have a little here, quick and easy. Um, these are going to um, have a quick look. Hey there, Clive Jeffrey here from ClyveJeffrey.com, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to download your Facebook Live videos to MP and intro, or and then upload them to your YouTube channel. So stay tuned. So there you can see it's like a classic little intro. Um, and then that was before I was you know, given the, the idea to put my question first. 
So I still recommend they're putting the question first. So what we're going to do, I'm going to put a transition in there. So I simply go here. I like this transition. Um, so all I do is I just click on it and drag it down. You can see there, it's that little clip there. And then I've got my intro, which I got made on Intro Champ. So I go back to my media here. And this is my intro. And I bring it down there. So I'll start it. I don't want to put you through the pain of my talking. Um, but I'll show you the... Uh, Hi, Jeffrey here from ClydeJeffrey.com. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to download your Facebook Live videos to MP4 and then upload them to your YouTube channel. So stay tuned. See the transition there? Yep, so that's pretty cool. So then we want to have another transition out of there. Going to use the same one. So I just click on it, drag it down, and there it is. So then I just go back to my media. Now, again, all I've done is recorded this on um, using uh, Screencast-O-Matic. Um, here's the video, and I just literally click on you know, import here, import media files, and I just brings it in from my computer. That's as simple as that, how I bring it in here. So this is the one I'm going to use. As I say, I'm not sure if it's the right one, but I'll pop it down here. It looks like it is. But we'll just have a look there. You can see uh, how the video is. That's me there talking, but, and, but I've recorded my whole screen. So that's one of the options. As I say, you can also use Screencast-O-Matic just to record the screen itself or have you as the full feature on the front there. So I'm not, we're not going to listen to that video, but you can see that that's it at the end. And um, I'm going to transition out of it. So I'm going to go back to my transitions. I'm going to use the same one again, put it at the end. And this time I'm going to go back and go back to my media and I'm going to get my, an outro. Now this is an outro. I'm going to show you. I'm going to bring it down here first, and but before I actually show it to you, I'm going to go back and so I'm just going to play. You know, these are just in if you know in the files. These are the, the this is, these are called um, you know, for, for credits. So you just you know if you want to have credits at the end of a movie, we're going to have credits at the end of the video. This is what I created my outro with. I'll just play it for you here quickly, so you can see. Oh no, this is not the, that's not the one I use. So, but that's an option. Um, let me see here. Which one did I use? Must be this one. Sorry, a bit of a go slow here. So that's basically the template that I used, and um, I created this here. And I'll just play it from there just so that you can see. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe now and come and visit me at clivejeffrey.com. So you can set the length of time that it plays for and, um, you know, just leave it going. Obviously, obviously um, I've got a few more seconds to run. I normally do it for 30, 40 seconds, and then it, it, it uh, fades away again. But that's, you now you can create all kinds of different stuff here really easily um, on um this simple, easy to use stuff. So, you know, um, I just love it. So now, what I'm going to do is um, to to go along with what I said before. How people are, if they're scrolling on Facebook, because I might, you know, repurpose this video and use it on Facebook. I'm going to want to have subtitles or something down here, so that people that are scrolling through are going to. Um, 
be able to see what it is if they don't have the sound on because you know if you were sitting in the doctor's office or you know watching your kids play or something and you're bored and you're scrolling through your phone and you come across a video and you can see what it's about you might either you know bookmark it come back to it or you know at least be able to watch it or you know, find out what's going on so what we need to do then is we're going to go to text now what I, will, I one thing I haven't shown you is I'll do it once we've done, gone through the basic videos how to put use the green screen in the background which you can all do with the software real easy so now we're going to go to text and what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm just going to click on all here um, and I'm scrolling down because what I'm looking for is at the top here I'm just going to use this one and I'm going to scroll it down to the text there and all I'm going to do Computer's going slow here while it's streaming, unfortunately. I'm going to just drag. I'm going to actually take it right over to there. And in that space, um, I'm going to put. So I've got. I'll click on click on it again and then I'm gonna click on the pen and edit it. It just basically brings it up here and I'm just gonna put learn learn to download Facebook Live videos. Now the font size is way too big so I'm gonna put it down to say twenty eight. Maybe it's a bit small. Try 40. Come on. Going to download. Facebook live videos. And I'm just going to put that down here. And that way, I'm just going to click OK. And then if we press play, oh, I wonder if I can mute this so you don't have to listen to me. Yeah, that's better. You don't have to listen to me. But there, see there, Brent comes it up, so people can see straight away what the video is all about, um, which is you know very powerful indeed. Um, without having, so it's right at the beginning of the video, they can see, and then you can do you know, different different other things. Um, you can go back and you know you could make them fancy if you wanted something fancy. You can you go through the template. Um, now again, you can do lower thirds, which are. Let me just show you these. Now, if you want something to flash across the bottom of your screen, you just literally type in your own wording there, and um, you know, or something like this. Just click on it, see what it looks like, and if you want to put your your text in, then you can have that running across the bottom of your video. Say, if we wanted to do that um, for the rest of the video, let's say, for example, just to show you how easy it is we'll bring that down here and um, so we can see where it is and we literally just go in here and type what we want um, you know, whatever wording you want in there, just put, so if I put, um, you know, clivejeffrey.com, you know, or whatever I wanted, and you could just have that, and you again, uh, just, you know, move it around wherever you want it on the, on the, on your video. So, real easy to use. 
no, we don't want to save it. Um, so, you know, I want to see another one. Um, let's get rid of that one. You get the idea there. So there's also different badges, you know, if you want something like this. Sorry, folks, it's gone slow again. But it's, you get the idea that you literally just click on the images um, that you want, and it brings it up here as a little pr preview, and then you can see if it's what you want. You can then just drag it down, put it where you want, and um, add it in. So that's all that we're going to have on the front of our video. Um, we don't need anything more, really. Um, you can, throughout the video, put more more text in. Um, for for shorter videos, I sometimes do. Um, but there's also things that we can add in on actual YouTube that are interactive, which I'll show you next week on the next training. But now, if you want to add in some music, um, we just click on music. And um, let's say we're going to use this one. We decide we like that. We're going to just drag it down and say we want it to go all the way to the end of the come on oh that's the length of the thing so we'd have to add it again if we wanted to go all the way to the end so that, that's the length of the, the thing so all we would do is come bring it there and then get on this end and just join up that way it's going to play all the way through but then we want to um click on that and you know now we've got music in the background um again it's Now just click on that, the, the edit button, and it takes you up here where you can do your, um, you know, if you want it to fade, um, or you want it to you know, the, do the volume. I reckon if, for behind, if you've got video, I mean audio just behind, you want it no louder than eight, otherwise it's just too overpowering. So you've got to just click around until you can get it down to eight. Oh, it's... We won't take up any more time. Just click OK. And that way, at least you can hear it. I don't often put music behind the videos, um, especially if it's got, I might put it at the end. Oh, I've quietened it all down. Let me just put the noise back up for a second so you can just at least um, hear what it's like. Oh. To your YouTube channel. So stay tuned. But you can hear so we click on that you hear the music and in the background we want to actually start playing the video a little bit so let it play um, just need to play for a few seconds so if we're happy with everything there um, we've got now we, you know we've we've added our intro um, we've put you know, we've got our introduction then we've got a little intro video um, so we can just I'll just show you how it, we'll shut the sound down again just for a second um, and we'll just do the beginning bit from here. No, let's do it a little bit further. Just see what it looks like. There, you know, our message comes up into the intro, and then it transitions back out through to the the video itself. And then we're into the training. And then, you know, right the way at the end, if we go, it transitions out, and then. To show that out outro, so nice little video there. Um, professional, you know, we're personally branded, and um, you know, makes us set itself out from the, the others. So again, just just at the beginning, there, I just want to show you. So you've got no sound, but you can see 
exactly what the video is about because we've got that text in there. Now, I often put my, my website up here and just do it exactly the same way that I showed you. So really simple. All I've got to do now is I literally just press export, and that's going to then just um, – so I'll just stop that and I'll just show you. I just click export. It's going to bring me up here. I can get to name my video and I can call it. So for this type of video, I would um, find a keyword and um, that's been searched for on on YouTube and actually call it that because that's what it's going to help um, with our um, ranking and. Um, and it literally is in my back office. I mean, in my, my, I'll just go straight to my desktop and my videos, and then I can just upload it straight into YouTube. So really as simple as that. We've created a nice, simple, branded video. Um